Hey guys, on this episode of Weather Wednesday, let's talk a little bit about winds around clouds. So let's talk about winds around clouds and specifically I'm talking about non-raining cumulus clouds today because if the cloud is raining or if it's a different type of cumulus cloud the winds at the surface will be different than what we go over here. So basically these non-raining cumulus clouds are visual clues of updrafts. So it's actually telling you where the air is rising, where that cumulus cloud has been created. Now, what are we looking for? How would, how would you know that your non-raining cumulus cloud is going to have an effect on your race course? We're looking for a cloud that has a low base and a generally darker or flatter bottom. So here's an example. We're looking at this flat bottomed cloud. It's a little bit darker than the rest of the cloud. It's puffy and cotton ball like, which identifies it as a cumulus, and they're scattered throughout the sky. So here's what it looks like when we have a non raining cumulus cloud. What actually happens to the wind around this cloud? Let's break it down. So here's our cumulus cloud. And like I said, they're a visual indicator of an updraft. So where the air is rising, we have a relatively lower pressure. This also creates a wind lull at the surface. Okay, the air is rising up. It's almost creating like a little bit of a vacuum. And so there's generally a wind lull directly underneath the cloud. Now, as the air comes up, it rises, it condenses, forms the cloud, and on the edges, the air is much cooler, and so it's sinking on the edge. So sinking air over away from the cloud creates higher pressure, okay? And that creates a relative wind gust. So this whole cloud system, just for each individual cloud, is actually a little miniature low pressure, high pressure system. Now remember high pressure and low pressure is relative here. So we're not talking about like a low pressure storm. It just means there's relatively lower pressure and less wind underneath the cloud. And the most wind you find um, at the high pressure area on the edge of the cloud where we get the wind gust. All right guys, so I'm giving you a little um, view here of what it's like in the lull directly underneath the cloud. So we've got a dark flat cloud right over top of us and a little bit of a wind lull here. All right, so the cloud is just passing by. The wind is picking back up just as the cloud is ending. We can see the edge of it right there moving away and it's getting gustier in that clear spot where the wind mixes down to the surface. What we're not looking for or that will not help us um, on the race course are wispy or very thin clouds and clouds that are very high up in the atmosphere. Here's an example of very thin wispy high clouds. These clouds are so high up in the atmosphere that they're actually mostly made of ice um, and they don't affect the surface wind really at all. The other type of cloud that this does not apply to would be blanket-like clouds, um, also called stratus clouds, or clouds that are raining. All right, so these clouds have other properties um, of that cause different types of wind, but not necessarily what we're talking about here. Here's an example of a rainstorm or a rain cloud. Raining clouds create a downdraft, um, and non-raining clouds create an updraft. If you guys like this video and learning all about clouds and how they affect the winds, then you would really like um, my online weather course, level one of weather strategies for high performance sailing. In level one, we cover essential weather concepts and there's a whole chapter on clouds, winds around clouds, what to look for, um, and what strategies to use on the race course. So we'd love to have you join and make sure you click the link below this video if you wanna check it out. Awesome, if you guys like this video, please subscribe, tell your friends and give it a thumbs up.